have we got here? With Dr. Day. So have you ever been walking out in the bush and seen a strange looking plant like this growing on another plant? It's not a tree, it's not a shrub, it's not a vine. It's a plant that grows on another plant. This is called a mistletoe and they are parasitic plants with no roots at all. This one is growing on a mulga out here in western New South Wales. Many people think of mistletoes as poisonous introduced plants that kill their trees. None of these things are actually true. They're native plants, 91 different kinds are found in Australia. And rather than being negative or poisonous, they have a whole range of positive effects for our native wildlife. Mistletoes are one of few Australian plant groups that use birds to disperse their seeds and to pollinate their flowers. So they're a very rich source of nectar and fruit especially in deserts where there's often not much else to eat. As well, their dense clumps provide very safe and secure nesting sites for a whole range of different animals, both birds and mammals. And so here's a nest right here in this mistletoe in the mulga. This is a diamond dove that's built its nest in the dense structure provided by the mistletoe, a really safe place to raise its family. And finally, their nutrient-rich litter that rains down to the understory below acts like a constant stream of fertiliser and mulch, trapping the water in and giving all the understory plants lots of nutrients to grow and thrive. So here we have a yellow flowered mistletoe growing on an ironwood. But how did a plant with no roots end up two metres off the ground in the middle of a tree? Well, it's got a sneaky little system to do that. It wraps its seed in a very tasty fruit that's attractive for birds. The birds eat that fruit, fly away, it comes out the other end as a sticky seed. The bird wipes that seed off on the branch and a new mistletoe is born. And you can see here, this big branch that I'm holding, that's the branch of the tree. And then there's a big swollen connection here. That's where the seed landed. That's where the new mistletoe attached. And this dead piece here is the original branch of the tree that's now withered away as all the energy of the tree goes to the mistletoe instead of this branch. And here we can see a mistletoe seed sprouting on the tree. There's the orange shoot sprouting about to attach to the, uh, to the tree. Now different plants get different kinds of mistletoe. Behind me here is a mulga with a pale leaf mistletoe on it. And this mistletoe is pretty much only found on wattles, especially mulga. You can see its frosted leaves here blend right in with the frosted grey leaves of the mulga. Oh, and what have we got here? Oh, this is great. Here we've got a fleshy mistletoe growing on a harlequin mistletoe, which is growing on a northern sandalwood. So that's a parasite on a parasite on a parasite. All three of them native Australian plants. Now that is a rare treat. So next time you see a mistletoe, you'll know what special plants they are. that have a whole range of positive effects on wildlife throughout the Murray-Darling Basin.